brings us to Senator Jeff Flake, who joins us live now. Senator, good morning, good morning. to you. Thanks for having me on. Uh, one of the parts of your speech that really caught my eye, Senator, is when you talked about your fellow senators, the, your, your colleagues in the Senate, and you said, and I'm paraphrasing here, if you're waiting for President Trump to turn a corner and, and grow up and become more responsible and start to get things done, your wait will last forever. That's not going to happen. My question to you is, when you stepped off the Senate floor, what did you hear from your colleagues? Did they whisper in your ear and say, I feel that way too? Or did they say, listen, I, I disagree with you and I, I can't stand with you? Well, I think we, if we are waiting for the pivot, uh, we ought to quit waiting um, after nine months. I think it's not coming. And, and I do hear that from my colleagues. I think they know um, privately. I do hear that. So I, I hope that uh, more of us will speak out. The longer we wait, the more this kind of behavior and these, these kind of politics become normalized. And, and we can't afford that. We really can't. Senator, is there a difference in your mind between a president who, and these are your words, undermines our democratic ideals and has a flagrant disregard for the truth and decency, and a president who is unfit to hold the office? Well, in terms of unfit to hold the office, the voters made their choice. <clears throat> he was elected uh, fair and square. I don't think some of the remedies that are being talked about, uh, impeachment, high crimes and dis misdemeanors, I don't think that that applies, nor do I think that uh, Article 25 that's been talked about for the cabinet to uh, force the president out, I don't think that that is the right way to go. But I do think that uh, elected officials have responsibility to stand up. And if the president is pursuing policies, if he actually carries forward on some of the threats that he's made, uh, for example, against uh, news organizations uh, to pull their licenses if, if they have news that he doesn't like, um, or if he continues with a kind of uh, tweeting and behavior that's just unbecoming of the president, uh, we ought to at least stand up and say so. Does it bother you that, that this, your moment, your sacrifice, if you will, is being seen as a victory by the White House, who basically said, good riddance, and Steve Bannon came out and said, another day, another scalp. In, in essence, they're saying, by quitting, they win and you lose. Well, I'll let them uh, go ahead and describe it that way. I, I just know for me, I, I couldn't continue and, and, uh, in this way and, and run a campaign as if this is a, a normal campaign. Uh, it's not. Uh, we're, we're, uh, we're at a different time now. And, and to go and run a campaign as if uh, the president's actions are normal um, and, and that uh, they can be countenanced, uh, that's a difficult position uh, to take in a Republican primary, uh, the position that I've taken, that we ought to stand up. Uh, but, uh, you know, the president and, and his people can claim any victory they want, but, uh, but I think that uh, my colleagues and I have to stand up and say, this is not normal. We've got to, to change course. But, Senator, I have to say, I mean, there will be plenty of people watching right now and saying, amen, I agree with you. And there will be a significant number of people who think that's just more talk from an establishment senator. As, 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 Matt, as Matt pointed out, they might say, good riddance. So the audience you need to reach are the people that believe President Trump. They believe in him. They believe he's a change agent. If you had 30 seconds to make that pitch, what would you say to them to try to persuade? There is a tipping point that comes uh, in the 1950s uh, during the McCarthy hearings. Uh, you know, members of the Senate had remained pretty silent uh, for quite a while until the, the famous hearing when uh, uh, Joseph Welch, the uh, uh, chief counsel for the Army, came out and gave that famous uh, rebuttal, you know, have you no decency, sir, um, and, and said, we've had enough. And at that point, things changed. So I, I hope that we're reaching a tipping point uh, where my colleagues and, and every elected official will say, we can't go on this way. We, these politics, uh, you know, how can we explain to our kids uh, that we are countenancing this kind of behavior right. uh, from the top? So I, I hope that we've reached that tipping point. Uh, time will tell. Senator, let me test your newfound freedom for a second. I know you disagree with her on just about every major policy issue facing this country. But in terms of protecting our democracy, protecting respect for the office of the presidency, and protecting our image abroad, 
Is it possible in your mind to consider that it would have been better if Hillary Clinton had won this election? I talk in the book that I wrote, uh, Conscience of a Conservative, borrowing from uh, Barry Goldwater's title uh, earlier this year, that uh, we had kind of made a, a Faustian bargain uh, with this president, uh, that we could excuse the behavior and, uh, and everything simply because we could get uh, some uh, conservative judges. Would it have been better if she won the election? Things. And so, uh, well, I, I, I can tell you no president, uh, Democrat or Republican in recent memory uh, has exhibited the kind of behavior that this president has. And so I, I you know, I am a Republican. I'm a conservative. Uh, I would love to have a Republican president, but not at any cost. I didn't vote for this president uh, last November. Um, I didn't vote for President Clinton either, or uh, Secretary Clinton either. But uh, Second thoughts but on that? I, 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 I can tell you, I, I, I'm not, not happy with the direction we're going. Well, Senator Jeff Flake, it's good to have you here, sir. I appreciate you sharing Thank your you. perspective. Thank, Thank you, you, Senator. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.